Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator. Today we are excited to show you how to build a new WordPress website from the ground up. In this series, we'll help you take your website from looking like this to looking like this in just a few easy steps. Today, we're gonna to cover making edits to the theme that we installed during our last video. And if you need to get caught up, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. If you're ready to go, let's get started. So after installing a the theme, we wanna make sure that it looks exactly like we want it to. Lucky for us, we have tons of options to modify it to our liking. If you recall from our last video, we left off here in the theme section of the dashboard. So let's hover over appearance. This time we're gonna click on customize. Welcome to the WordPress customization dashboard. As you can see, there are a lot of options available, so let's dive right in. At the very top, you'll see the title of your blog, and you'll also see an option to change the theme that you're currently using. I like 2020, so we're gonna stick with that one. Let's check down here on site identity. This is gonna give you the option to change the site title and tagline. Now, as you can see, the title right here is my blog, and the tagline is my WordPress blog. Now, I wanna change my site title to Josh Makes Tutorials, and I actually don't want a tagline here, so I'm gonna remove that. The next thing I wanna show you is the site icon or favicon. Now, this is the little image up in the top left-hand corner. The site icon is essentially what visitors will see whenever they're accessing your site. To add one, it's really easy. Just click the select site icon. I've already got a few images uploaded in my media library, so I'm gonna select this one. Click select. It may ask you to crop it because it does need to be a square. So from there, I'll click crop image. And now you can see it's listed there and in the top left. Now I have the option to publish if I want to, but I'm just gonna click this back button and go to the next section. Now, if we wanna change the general color scheme of the site, the next section we're gonna to go to is colors. From here, we can change the colors of the background, the header, and the primary color. Also, if you have a hex color, you can also paste it into this box to kind of cut out the guesswork. I'm gonna leave the background white, but I do have a specific color in mind for the header and footer, so I'll make that change now. If I click select color for header and footer background color, a nice color wheel opens up and I can choose and kind of pull and push the color to however I want it to be. But I actually have a hex code color like I mentioned, so I'm gonna paste that right here in this box. And as you can see, it's already transformed the entirety of my site to have a different color for the header and footer. Now we have a similar option if we wanna change the primary color of our site. So I'm gonna click custom here. And these are the options that we'll be changing. These social media icons here, this text, and also our top level menu. So it brings up another slider. So let's just pull this over until we find one that we like. Looking for a nice blue here. Once you've got one that suits your eye, you go ahead and just leave it and then click back. Moving on to the next section, theme options has some additional customization options. We have the search function that's already included in the header. You can see that over there on the top right. We're gonna leave that turned on for now and we'll leave the rest of these settings as they are for now too. The next section we'll move into is cover template. Now 2020 includes a number of different options for cover templates and it's located here inside this tab. Here you can set the background color, the overlay background color, or the overlay text color. You can also set the overlay opacity. One of the coolest things you can set here is whether the background image should have a fixed position, which creates a pretty cool effect when the visitor scrolls. I like all these options the way they are, so we're gonna leave them here for now. Oh, before we go any further, I do notice that my background is kind of a tan right now, and I know that I wanted to have it white. Let's scroll down to the color section. I'll do background color select. You can see that it's kind of a tan, and I want a pure white. I'm gonna click that. There we go. Now we'll head back to the main section. Now the next section I wanna show off is the background image. We can click here, and it's exactly like it sounds. If you wanna choose a background image for your site, you can click select image here. Now, if you haven't uploaded anything to your media library yet, you can do that here on the left-hand side for upload files. I've already got a bunch of stuff that I preloaded, so I'm gonna choose this image. Click down here at the bottom, select it. As you can see, it's changed the entire background of my site in that top bar. Now, you always wanna make sure to properly size your image because you want the image to be as small as it can be while still looking good to help the site load faster. That helps with optimization. The recommended size is 1024 by 768 pixels, and that's essentially what we went with. Now, I don't think it works too well for my site, so I'm actually gonna remove it because I want that white background back. Now that the image is gone, let's head back to the main menu. Next up on the docket are menus and widgets. Now, menus, as you probably know, are what allow people to easily navigate your site. Widgets are a bit less known, but they play a huge role in the overall site design and function. They're essentially the tools that you can use to add functions like blog calendars, search bars, and so much more. They're also where you configure your sidebar and your footer. And because these two pieces are so important, we're actually gonna make a whole video about these, so keep an eye out for that coming up. Moving on to the homepage settings, this is where we can choose exactly what's displayed on the homepage of our site. If you look right now, we can see that it's displaying our latest posts. That means I'll have a blog post on the front of my site. If you're a blogger, that's gonna be great for you. I want some static content, so I'm gonna choose a static page. 
As you can see, once we choose a static page, we've got two options. Now we can choose the home page and the post page. For the home page, it's going to show the default page for 2020. It's already got some content built up that you can use if you want to, and I'll show you how to edit that in a different video. You can also see down here that the post page is set to blog, meaning if someone clicks on my top level navigation up here, they're going to be taken directly to my blog site. Now we'll get into the differences between a post and a page in a later video, but for now I'm going to leave this as it is because we can edit this in the next video. Let's head back to the main menu. Last but not least, we have the additional CSS setting. Now, if you're really wanting to get into the nitty gritty and customize the look of your theme, this is where you can get that done. Now, we still have a lot of building to go before we actually start to think about additional CSS, so we're gonna leave that alone for now. And that about wraps it up for the first portion of customizing our theme. Check out all the stuff we've been able to get done to this site in just a small amount of time. If we scroll down, we can actually see that this site is starting to take shape, and over the next few videos, I'm gonna show you how to make the home page exactly what you want it to be. Now before we go any further, the most important thing you can do after making any changes is publish them. So we're going to go up here to the top left and click publish. And now our site is published and saved, we can exit out of here safely. And that's pretty much it for the first portion of theme customization. I hope you found this video helpful and I'm excited to show you the next video in this series too. As always, if you like the content that we're making, feel free to subscribe and tell us in the comments below what you think. Thanks y'all!